Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to knit moss stitch. Now this beautiful stitch pattern is reversible and it lays flat. It is just such a pretty textured nubby pattern. It would look amazing in blankets and scarves. This is part of the Best Beginner Stitches series. To see the whole series, click on the link in the top right or in the description. I've got more details about this stitch on my website, including tips and tricks, knitting charts, and how to knit the stitch in the round. Link in the description. So today I'm knitting with Paintbox Yarns Cotton DK in the color 425 pistachio green and four millimeter needles. All right, so to knit moss stitch, you're gonna cast on an even number of stitches. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, you get the idea. So here I've casted on 32 stitches, which is an even number. All right, so let's start with row one. So with row one, we're going to knit one. So I'm gonna push my needle in and just do a knit one. And then we're going to do a purl one. So I'll bring my yarn up front and do a purl one. Cool. And that is the repeat, okay? So the instructions between the asterisks are repeated. So we're gonna do this knit one, purl one, and repeat that to the end of the row. All right, so here's a knit one, bring the yarn up front, and a purl one. And I'll continue doing that. Knit one, and purl one. Okay, and knit one, whoops, and purl one. All right, so let's do this knit one, purl one across the whole row. All right, so here's my last knit one, and my last stitch is going to be a purl one. Great, so I've just finished row one of moss stitch, and I'm gonna turn my needle over, here we go, and start row two. So row two is the exact same, okay? We're gonna do a knit one, purl one, and repeat that to the end of the row. So here we go, I'm just going to knit one, and bring my yarn up front, and purl one. All right, bring my yarn to the back, knit one, bring my yarn to the front, and purl one. So for this portion, I can actually just look to my knitting to tell me what to do. So this is a knit one, and I can tell because of this little V shape, so I'm going to knit into it. And this next stitch is a purl stitch, so I'm going to purl into it. So I'm looking to my last row to tell me what to do. This is a knit one, so I'll knit into it. This is a purl, so I'm going to purl into it, okay? So that's what I would do for row two. I would just look to row one because we're just repeating the same repeat, really, right? I can see it's a purl, so I'll purl into it. And I can see this is a knit stitch, so I'm going to knit into it. Okay, so if this doesn't make sense to you, that's okay. You can just follow the pattern and do a knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. That's fine as well. And here is a knit stitch, so I'm gonna knit into it. And the last stitch is a purl stitch, so I'm going to purl into it. And that is the end of row two. And row two, again, is just a repeat of row one. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn my needle over and we're going to work row three. Now row three is the opposite of row two. We're going to start by purling one and knitting one. So I'm gonna bring my needle in, have my yarn up front, and purl into that first stitch. And to tighten that purl, I'm gonna bring the yarn to the back and just give it a tug. Okay, so the next stitch is a knit one. Knit one, there we go. And that is the repeat for row two. The asterisk marks the repeat, so we've got purl one and knit one. So I'm gonna do that again, purl one, bring the yarn to the back and knit one. There we go. And bring the yarn to the back, purl one, and knit one. For this third row, we are doing the opposite of row one and row two. So you can see that row one and row two are just the same, right? We've got two columns of knits, two columns of purls, two columns of knits, two columns of purls. And now on row three and four, we're breaking up the pattern, right? So where there's a column of knits right here, we're going to do a purl. And where there is a two, two purl stitches, we're going to do a knit, okay? And where there's a column of knits, we're going to do a purl. So row three and four is where we kind of shake things up by breaking up that pattern. If this is confusing to you, um, then just follow the pattern 
and do the purl one and knit one to the end of the row. All right, and here's my last knit one for row three. Okay, so now I've just completed row three and I'm going to turn my needle over and work row four. Now row four is the exact same as row three. So we're going to purl one and knit one and purl one and knit one, okay? So because row four is the same as row three, what we can do is look to row three to tell us what to do. So this is a purl stitch from row three, so I'm going to purl it, okay? Because row four is the exact same as row three. Here's a knit stitch from row three, so I'm going to knit into it, okay? So in this way, I can just look to the stitches on my needle, on my left needle, to tell me what to do instead of having to follow the pattern and go, okay, purl one, knit one, purl one, knit one. I can just look to the stitches that I knit previously from the previous row to tell me what to do, okay? So continue to work purl one, knit one of row four to the end of the row. So I'm almost at the end of row four. Here's my last stitch, it's a knit stitch, so I'm going to knit into it. Cool. All right, so that is the four row repeat for moss stitch. So continue in rows one to four to knit moss stitch. So now I'm gonna go back to my row one, which is a knit one, and I'm breaking up the pattern again. So here's a knit stitch, and I'm going to purl into it. I'm doing the opposite of what it is. Here's a purl stitch, so I'm going to knit into it, doing the opposite of that. Here's a knit stitch, so I'm going to purl into it. That's because row one and two is the exact opposite of row three and four. And again, if this whole knitting the knits and purling the purls is confusing to you, then you can just follow the pattern as it is, doing knit one, purl one for row one and two, and purl one, knit one for three and four. And this is also why moss stitch is sometimes called double seat stitch, because you are doing two rows of knit one, purl one, instead of one row of knit one, purl one for seed stitch. So you're doing double the rows, if that makes sense. So continue working moss stitch by repeating rows one, two, four. And that is how you knit moss stitch. Thanks for watching. This is part of the Best Beginner Stitches series. Watch the whole series here or click the link in the description. I'm Davina from sheepandstitch.com and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.